The up-and-coming artist decided to pursue a dream to become an artist two years ago after working for her family manufacturing business for 10 years. Although Africa is still widely viewed in art circles as a source of fine art for auctions in the developed world rather than a market in itself, an art bomb in Nigeria coinciding with a turn by the country's super-rich elite and small but growing middle class towards art as a store of wealth may change that. Ala Sholuyi hopes to tap into the growing market and make art more accessible to the general public at an affordable price. I want my artwork to be in everybody's home. And if I want it to be in everybody's home, then it has to be affordable. I want people to appreciate it, you know. A lot of people, when they see my paintings and my work, they say, ah, if you're in England, if you're in America, you will sell a lot of this. I don't like to hear that. We are Africans, we are Nigerians. We need to appreciate our culture and appreciate art. Showcasing a versatility, Alicia Louise recently held her first exhibition in Lagos. The display of colorful paintings based on domestic scenes, sketches, Ankara patchwork, embroidery designs and photography attracted hundreds of visitors. I hate to see that people will come out and they'll be looking for a job. I love them to do what is in them. Because when we see what is in you, what is in me, then the world will be a better place. I'm so encouraged. What I've seen here, I've not seen some artwork like this. I see some that can be used useful in schools, in children's rooms, in our living rooms, in the offices, she cuts across. So all our artworks will be useful to anybody. They are very, very nice indeed. I, I think I like a lot of them. In particular, I'm enthused by the old photographs of uh, Lagos, uh, Dumota, Kata Bridge. They are really nice, you know. It makes you see how far we have come as a country. Alicia Louis' art exhibition raked in $2,200 US in 10 days. A small success, but she says there needs to be more effort in creating awareness about art and the fact that it is not only for the wealthy. We have a lot of artists here that are really hiding. Their works are not really being portrayed or shown out to the public and to the, to the international you know, level outside the world. I think a lot of us are hiding because people perceive art to be expensive. It's only like the rich people that can afford to buy it. I believe it should be a general thing. And once that awareness is being exposed to people, then other people from, the, from home will now extend it to the outside world. Art critic Adiola Balojon disagrees. He says exhibitions like Alashuri's are not the best direction for Nigerian art to take because they lack focus. It's like, uh, to me, it's like she's still testing the water because um, uh, she can actually focus on one or two. I could even say photography. So that was why I said I saw a I saw lot of things being put together in a single show. Right. And um, yes, it's a good thing because, I mean, uh, but when you look at the arrangement, you know, more or less bringing it out to craft level. According to Nigerian auctioneers, Southern Africa and East Africa are still ahead when it comes to producing internationally recognized art. But Nigerians are becoming Africa's biggest collectors of art.